So I got this headlight kit here for my plow and I'm gonna insert a clip of the wiring. So I got a wiring kit and I was curious to see how they wired stuff. The cheapest coating ever. Yeah, that's a no-go for me. We're gonna replace that. Okay, so now I recovered the wiring here. This one goes to the other light. I fixed it where it merged. And now we just have a couple connections to make after we mount this on the truck. Okay, I had a few clips to start off this video. I wasn't sure what it was gonna actually be about, but we gotta fix this. So first thing, these lights always stay on and those are just LED lights, so they're not relayed for power. So I do have a switch inside the truck. And this is a low beam, high beam, and then my rear spotlights. So this is not relayed to just straight power. LEDs don't draw that much power, so it's not a problem. But I'm going to put new lights on there. I'll show you those in a minute. But the problem is if I hook them up there, they'll probably melt because they are normal condescent lights. And then when the plow's up, these lights stay on. They're going to, they blind you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ground off the low beam. That's the high beam on both sides. Run them together to a toggle switch that I'll either leave under here or in the truck somewhere so then I could turn off the low beams but then I'll still have control of the high beams on the switch when I take the plow off the high beams will still work like normal and then I just flip the switch again these will work effectively turning off the low beams and then the power wires run up through the harness in here for the plow this is the plow harness so I'm going to find out which wire it's not these two that's for the relay in here does the high beam and the low beam. I'm gonna cut that, run it to a relay to switch power. I'll show you that. So the relay will have a constant power straight from the battery and a switch power. This will be the switch power, which is the switch. And then it'll come back out of the relay into here through the plug. Eventually, I have a factory plug, which I'm gonna replace these two with. I didn't have anything when I got this. I got this whole plow set up at auction. So that's a GM Weather Packs. So I got this off of eBay. This is a factory replacement, boss stuff. It's not OEM, but it's OEM style. I think these covers are actually boss, but these are not. So when I first did this, these were not readily available and they were not cheap. Now this whole thing is like 60 bucks. So, it's, and it's way more readily available. It's been on the truck for like five years. All I had was Weather Packs. It works. What can you do about it? So eventually I'll wire in that plug, but for now I'm going to use what I have here. I'm just going to leave the relays in here. Okay, so the switches ran. So keys on, low beams are on. I'm just doing this quick, so I just threw the switch here for now. And there's already grounds ran in there for all my stuff. So key still on. Lights are still on, but the switch is killed. So you still have marker lights, and I should still have tail lights. And I do. Okay. So high beams on. Should only be the high beams on. And it is. So. Once again, flip the switch. Everything's on. Also, if you have one of these trucks and you're wondering why the high beams are on with the low beams at all times, I did a video about the six high mod in 2017. It's one of the top viewed videos on my channel, but you'll see, modified the fuse box. Keeps every light on okay i've laid this relay setup 
out the easiest way to make it make sense. So a relay comes like this and blue is positive, that's constant, that goes right to the battery. Red, we're not gonna use, that's in the center. This is a, a five wire, we're only gonna use four. White goes to switch, so that's switch 12 volt power. And then yellow, right here's the pin 87, that's to the light or accessory, so a rad fan, a light, black ground, super simple, 85. So what I did was, I took all the grounds, because that's a super simple one. Okay, so I take the relay, and I just zip tied them together, both of them, eight high and low. I just clipped the red one, we're not gonna use that, it doesn't matter. I took the ground, the black ones, which were pin 85, tied them together. This is gonna go to a nice ground source. Uh, so on the high side, we have the white one, which is switch power, which is pin 86 in yellow, which is to the light. So in the harness where I showed where the wire comes out, I found out which ones they are, I'll show you. It's a gray wire, solid gray. The next wire is gray with a black stripe. So let's, I'll show you that. So I uncovered it out here and we have gray the black and gray. Which one does what? So low beam is gray with a black. Over here, we have gray with a black and gray. So this gets power from the switch that I already had installed in there. So I'm gonna clip that. It's gonna go to one side of the relay. And then the yellow one that comes back out is gonna go back into this wire. So it's just gonna make a big loop. It's basically, it's basically the wire comes out of the cab. When I flip the switch, it has power. It's gonna come into this white wire. It's gonna go into the relay and back out this way and back down the harness, back up to the plow by the lights same thing the next switch i had to switch separately for high beam i'm gonna do that the blue wires were battery constant so we're going to take those and we're going to put them into here and here so basically each relay is going to have its own fuse here, this inline fuse. So they're separate on the sides that feed. This will feed the relay. This will feed the relay. Over here, where they get power, this side they can merge together and go directly to the battery. You don't want to merge these sides here because if it back feeds, it'll back feed into the other one as well. So here, that's the start of it. The battery will come in, out here, into the relay. I know some people freak out about wiring, but it looks a little bit confusing when they start going like this. It's all the same thing. These two wires are for the low, these two are for the high. These are each going to go to one of these. It really doesn't matter which one you pick. They're both each getting fused, so whatever it lays out better in the truck. And then just zip tie it all together. And it's good. Super simple. Okay, so I pulled 12 volt power off the alternator. It's starting to get a little packed down there with all my other stuff. So that runs over and everything is just tucked over here. I can make that look pretty another way day. But like I said, the wire comes in, goes into the relay, comes back out the switch. Ground, I just ran back over to here. Grab a couple grounds going, a couple grounds up here. It don't matter, there's a lot of accessories on this truck. And constant power is off the alternator. Super simple, let's wire it in. So. Low beam. High beam. But like I said, you don't really need relays for LED lights. Now, it's good practice to put a relay in for every electrical circuit that you do, but it's not necessary for LEDs. But for, say, lights like this, which are going to replace the plow lights that are on there, those stupid Chinese LEDs, 
We got low beam, high beam with the marker and turn signals. So far, I'm, I've gotten away with it for a few years, not having turn signals on the front of the plow. You could get pulled over for it. But my mirrors have turn signals in them, and I drive with the plow low enough so I don't overheat so you can kind of see the turn signals in my headlights. It's like a gray area. I could get a ticket for it. But with this, when I redo the big plug, I will put the turn signals in there, which is, I think this one's left and that one's right. And then this one, yellow, is low beam with the brown wire being the marker light. And this one's being high beam. And we got a ground. Super simple. So we just got to drill a couple holes. I'll mount that. I'll show you that. And I should have legal headlights. The turn signals won't work until I do the plug. But the plug is coming sooner than later. I know somebody's going to say it in the comments. Why did I wire the switch and why don't I just turn the headlights off? When you turn the headlights off... It also turns the taillights off, and you still kind of need those to work too. But then you're like, oh, why don't you put it back? So we put it to auto, and you put the parking lights on. That could work too, but that leaves a couple of the marker lights on the front off.
All right, back working on this. It's freezing out here, so I'm just taking a bolt or two off and going back inside for a minute. But I just drilled out the end bolt here on the other side so the bracket will fit. I don't know where the next one's gonna end up. I didn't measure yet, but I'm just gonna test fit it, get that loose. Okay, I got the lights sort of mounted up. That bar is the factory bar. I raised it up at one point for the LED lights. They're loose right now because when they're loose, you could rotate them up and down. I had to put some washers in there, get the spacing right. More on this side than the other side, I guess it bows down or something. Not sure. I got to get the this wiring harness out of there. And I just plugged this one in. I didn't. These are locks. So you push that in after it's connected, and it shouldn't come apart. All right, we got the high beams on. So the quick wire those. This is gonna get wrapped up in some of these wires to shield them. These two are for turn signals, so they'll get done at a later date. And that one will be low beam. All right, now we have to adjust them when it gets dark. Okay, so that's taped up. I just have the two turn signal wires left to the side until we get the big plug going, which will be replacing these two plugs here. It's too cold today to be playing with that. This is all taped up. I just could have shortened this, but I didn't want to make too many connections. It's too cold. This light's a little loose. I'm gonna wait till it gets dark. Probably put the beams up on the door, test it. I'm gonna bring this with me if I have to find adjust it. It was just a 19 millimeter on a ratchet. And we're gonna dial the headlights in and see how bright they are tonight. Okay, it's not super dark outside, but that's pretty good. So I'm just adjusting them, playing with them. So here's the look inside the truck. It's fairly bright. It's not super dark outside, but if I flip the high beams on, you can see how it reflects a little bit. So I can still use them. Turn those off. And then I have the switch down the bottom with the regular low beams. So I could always do that as well. With the plow all the way up, the lights are hardly reflecting off the plow, which is good. But you'll hardly ever drive with it. This is about as high as I will drive with it, generally. But going down the highway on a nice flat road, it's down here. So we're gonna drive, make sure it's not too high up, not blinding anybody. I brought the wrench with me. And we should be good. So I'm pretty happy with these eBay uh, plow lights. This is a pretty dark road. It's not pitch black outside, sunset about 45 minutes ago, so it's pretty dark. Um, this is just a low beam. That's with a high beam. And you can see there's nothing interfering. That's just high beam and low beam. There's nothing out here interfering like house lights like there was at the shop. So these are fairly bright for what they are. Um, it's a different kind of light than the LED lights. That's just like in your face blinding the LEDs. These condescent bulbs, they're probably a little bit better for this. Oh, I just had a car pass me and I flipped the lights, so it was super easy. But I wasn't blinded. Like the LEDs would blind you. They would reflect off the passing car. Um, this is a lot better. Maybe I'll put an LED light bar up on the roof facing forwards. I have one facing rearwards. Uh, that would be kind of neat. But they're working great so far. I just need to replace that plug on the front and make the plow work like OEM. Also, when I replace the plug on the front, if I ever got another Boss plow that was in a better shape, it would just plug right in and I could use it, so. Okay, it's a decent enough day out here to wire this in. And I'm looking at all the colors and the wiring diagram. 
I'll attach the wiring diagram. But this, you got a light blue and dark blue. And it only calls for a blue and a purple. So if you follow the blue down, I cut some of the shielding back. It starts turning purple, so the color faded. This one's white here. You see there's kind of a hint of red. The red faded off of it, so that's red with a white stripe. It's kind of annoying that it faded, but we're going to plug that into here. Okay, you're going to start it. I just wired it. Yeah. Yep. That's working? Mm-hmm. So now I just got to wire in the turn signals. So this is a 13-pin plug for a V-plow. And this is an 11-wire system. So I originally thought that I was going to use these two wires for the turn signals up here. I think I just have to wire these to right here or down here wherever they merge I'm not quite sure but the the turn signal wires are here and here I just don't think because this is from the I never connected them so they're probably in here somewhere and then them two wires that aren't being used or don't have power going through them for the turn signals they're probably right here and I could probably just shove them to the turn signals. Okay, so that works. I just ran a wire up from down there. The color's changed up here somehow. Don't know why. This harness is hacked, but it works. This one is gonna be for that side. So I need to run it across. It'll pull this top tray out down to the turn signal and just tap into the wire. Okay, that's all installed and wrapped up. So lights on. Those lights are off. So I'd have to manually turn on those lights in the highs and lows, which is fine. And then left turn, left turn, left turn. Right turn, right turn, and right turn. Huh, a couple bulbs are burning out of those cheap eBay mirrors compared to the other side. So that's, that looks good. Okay, so I turned the low beams on. And you see how the parking light's on. So this parking light will be on too. And the turn signal still works. So that's all wired up. So you can tell it's kind of warm today. It's about 50. All the snow melted. About the last two days we had rain, so 14 inches of snow just gone. Uh, so I can take the plow off now. I've worked for the truck this week, so this can come off. I just wanted to wrap this project up. That plug's a lot easier. I can move another plow now. <laughs>